Hey everyone, Wicked Jado here. Uh, welcome to another Raid My Bases. Um, this is Lindale, and the raider name is Subsonic Sal. Okay, so he does have the right kit, um, in my opinion. Oh, this is a good one actually. Um, I kind of um, choose these re uh, replays kind of after the fact, so. Um, but this just happens to be a good one. Um, anyway, he, he makes a little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a sparkling face. <laughs> um, th this is my draw to this face, by the way. Um, I don't think it's that effective, but it's all the budget I could spare. This is a very capacity heavy base. Um, even though there's not many traps in this base, um, a lot of it's to do with the, the outside infrastructure. Um, and let me know, like, if you want to see, like, a breakdown of this, um, base itself. If you're curious, like, how the inner workings work, uh, let us know. Just post in the comments, um, and in the future I might make a, um, a breakdown video of some of these bases, um, just to kind of, um, kind of... Ed educate the the raider community, the meet you maker community. Um, okay, so he's he's just kind of finding the tomb. Um, okay, so I think he gets the second one. Um, again, I, I mentioned this in one of the other videos, but if you wanna, um, if you're finding some of the replays are too long that you're getting. Um, just consider just marking off those um, tombs. Um, otherwise, players just kind of jump around at the start for ages until like they actually play the level. Um, okay, so he sees the red path, the blood trail. He, he wants the the last. Oh no, he's coming back. All right, so here we go. See, so, the attempt. Oh, he's a little indecisive. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. Into the base. Okay. Okay, so you can see all the, the corrosive cubes there. Um, yeah, that, I do the same. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking there. Um, but yeah, don't, don't jump straight into that. Okay, so you can see all the the minions. Oh, I might slow it down here. Um, yeah, I, I forget what I've said in the the previous replay of this, but um, the idea here is you just get attacked from all sides. So you, there's no safety uh, at the start, at least anyway. Okay, so he's playing it cautious, which is wise. Um, you want to be able to time it. Um, before kind of jumping out. Ooh, man, he's cutting it really close there. Okay, he's trying to experiment, and fair enough, right? Like, you don't really see many bases like this, so it's good to try to experiment. If you're stuck on bases, like, just try something different, because you might find a, a weakness that way. He's still kind of playing it safe. He's not really confident in... Man, that's close. Um, he's not confident in jump, jumping out just yet. Those bullets are so close to him. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it's just a rough start. Like, once you get going, it's okay, but, like, just kind of breaking out is... It is for sure. Yeah. Still a little not confident. Okay. Okay, he's kinda thinking what the best strategy is here. Um, maybe he's thinking about grappling here. Um, we'll soon see shortly. I 
Okay. So he's, he's probably trying to wait for them to complete the reset, which is smart, right? It's like, they're the weakest when they go back to their patrol room. Okay. Yeah. Once, once they see the raider, there's like a little bit of a cooldown before they reset to their original part. So, um, sometimes it's better to just wait it out for, I think it's 20 seconds or something. And then kind of get it. Okay, so he's pushing out now. He does miss his shots on the Ravager there, so unfortunate. But that that's kind of what you have to do with this base, is you, you can't be kind of sticking back, because this base really punishes those players that kind of like to play it safe. There's no safety, at least in the beginning anyway. So, yeah, sometimes bases push you out of your comfort zone, so you just got to be able to adapt and um, change your strategy when you need to. Okay, we'll slow it down. Okay, so he's kind of thinking. Bad timing there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like the strategy for this one, um, if, if you're curious, um, is to. Uh, this will come into play later. Don't don't you worry. Um, but the I, the best strategy I've seen is you just kind of have to. Th there's two strategies. One is like there's a little safety. Um, layer where if you don't stick your head out completely um, there is a, a small um, window of opportunity yeah that's bad luck there he did play it um, safer there though um, there's a little bit of a window of opportunity that you can snipe all the guards without fully committing um, and getting them aggro okay so we just find the last tomb um, So that, that strategy one. Strategy two is to just like push out completely and just um, try to shoot the the Ravager or the Enforcer as you're um, jumping out um, and not to miss your shots obviously um, otherwise they'll, they'll end up killing you. So yeah here he kind of just dances around the bullets but really you gotta just be able to shoot those Ravagers um, because if you can't clear them they're just gonna keep shooting and then, you know, yeah, you yeah, our options there. Might just slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I've kind of lost count on how, how many deaths, but I think this is like raid 5 attempts or something. So he's kind of pausing for a little bit. Yeah, so that, that is wise, but again, it doesn't really help you that much because like if you can't push out, unless you're making progress um, and killing some of those guards, um, the res kit doesn't really help you much here. Okay, so let's see what he does. Okay. He does manage to push through, so that's good. He is killing some of them, so that, that's good as well. Ah, just bad luck there. Okay, but he does have his res kit, so he, he does throw, it, throw down another one. And as you can see, he has worked his... Oh, bad luck. Um, he is working on one corner, which is smart. Okay, let's see what he does next. He doesn't have any more res kits. Okay, so he's past the worst of it. He just needs to... Oof. Yeah. Their, their snipe shots are ridiculous. They, um... They can really catch you off guard if you're not paying attention. Okay, 
So we took out that enforcer. He's just got one more aggro. Nice. Okay, so he's stabilized a bit here. So now he can start working on uh, picking them off one by one since none are aggroed. Okay, so he's just kind of thinking what to do next. Um, Not quite. Okay, nice. So he does pick him off. He might be a console player, just judging by the movements. He's like a PC player. will have that kind of mouse reflexes, but it looks like he's playing on console. And kudos to him, like, this game is... I, I have a Steam Deck that I play on, and this game is significantly harder um, just playing on the, the controller instead of the mouse keyboard. In my opinion, anyway. Like, everyone has their preference, but I, I definitely prefer the mouse keyboard. Okay, so he's, he's got back eight bolts. There's still a few on the ground, but... Um, if it wasn't clear from the previous replay, the idea with this base is to just kind of starve the player of um, ammo. Um, he may not see it yet, but yeah, he, he's seen the the hole there, so he's starting to piece together what what's going on. Um, crossbow is probably the strongest weapon. Um, for this map, um, just in that the the weapon's capacity is 15 bolts, right? So um, much harder to starve the player completely. I think from memory there's 19 guards here, so even if you were to lose all your crossbow bolts, um, assuming they carry the heavy boulder, they should be able to take out the last remaining guards. Okay, so he's looking in there. He does manage to grab it, so yeah, this is one of the things is um, it's not perfect, um, but the strategy is there. Okay, so he's just lining up his shot for the last few. Um, and if you're curious why I um, patrolled them into like that, that kind of a rotation loop, the idea there was to... Um, if they did disengage, that they're not just pointing straight. Um, I, I wanted them to do a little uh, rotate around so that as players kind of sneak up behind them or from the sides here, um, they're not taken off guard completely. Otherwise, like, it, it's much easier if you're not just... Yeah, you can even see, like, this guy detects him, so... Just puts that extra pressure on, right? Doesn't quite get his shot. Um, again, I I do feel like it's because he's a playing console, but okay, he's taking his time. Surprising the okay, nice one. He, do, he does drop down. He's got six bolts left. Nice. Yeah, that sticks. Yep. Okay, um, so he's just come across the exit um, just by chance, but um, yeah, the, there's no more threats beyond here. Finds the gen mat and he's there. So. Interesting, he's going back. Um, I'm not sure what's that about. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't exactly know. I guess he wants to make sure everyone dies before he goes. Okay. There's only a few more left. 
I, I guess, like, if, if you've made it this far, you might as well take the rest of them now, but, um, you just get experience points, um, and, like, some resources if you can grab the, the drop, so, but I don't think, like, unless you're a, a low player, you're not going to get it. I guess you get the sense of achievement, right, for beating a difficult base. Okay, so that that's the right all of the guards, I believe. Um, let's just see. Yeah, it looks like you took all of them out. Okay, we'll just speed it up. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot where the exit is. <laughs> Uh, I think he remembers. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so there's the gem mart. There's the exit. Bit of a victory dance there, um, um, and deservedly so. Like I, I think it took him seven deaths to complete, so it's not an easy one. And it looks like he had fun, so that that's the main thing. Like when you're playing this game, <laughs> yeah, um, he does make a little smiley face. So yeah. Sounds like he he had fun, so that's good. Cool. Cool. Um, I think I think that's every everything. Um, so thanks everyone for joining. Um, if you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out. And yeah, we'll we'll see you in the next one.